What is up, Tubbs? We are here today to do another product review. Recently, we've done reviews for the Alpine Cellar riding gloves, which I'm displaying right here, as well as my Dionese Street Biker Air. If you haven't already, I will leave a link in the description if you are interested in either of those. There's my Street Biker Airs. But today we're going to talk about the Icon Field Armor Compression Pants. Now, unfortunately, because of the nature of what these pants are, <laughs> you won't be seeing me model these pants. But instead of just talking about the specs of these pants, uh, like a typical review might do, uh, you know, talking about how they have the D30 uh, Kevlar armor in the hips and in the tailbone, knees, and your thighs and butt, you know, we're not going to talk a whole lot about specifications because that's something you can look up on your own. Today, I just want to talk about my impressions of the Icon Field Armor Compression Pants and a little bit maybe why I bought them and uh, what I think about them after I've had them for about six months. So first of all, I will say that I love my compression pants. They are comfortable. Uh, I wear them mostly when it's hot outside, so they breathe really well. Uh, and they are not intrusive for a riding pant, meaning that when I wear them under uh, like these jeans that I'm wearing right now, uh, you know, I don't like, I don't wear super baggy jeans and I don't wear super tight jeans either, but you know, I wear some slim fit jeans and when I wear them with my jeans, uh, it's not like I'm having a hard time breathing <laughs> when I'm wearing the, these pants. You know, that's. It's a nice fit. They fit under all of the jeans that I have. So uh, that was the one thing that I wanted. Uh, if you're like me, I'm five foot six, and depending on the style of pants or the brand of pants that I wear, I went anywhere, anywhere from a 36 to a 34 inch waist. And my inseam is between 29 and 30 inches. So I'm a short guy, so it's hard for a guy like me, you know, a lot of the times when you're looking at pants with 36 inch waist or 34 inch waist, you're looking at 32 to 34 inch inseam. And that's typically what I found in riding pants is that the pads are kind of hitting me in the wrong spot. You know, the, the knee pads in riding jeans and riding pants are below my knee or too far down on my knee. And, you know, there's, you know, they're just not a great fit. I don't mind, I don't mind being short. I have no problem being a short guy. But when you're buying clothes, a lot of the times it's kind of annoying because people and, and, and clothing makers don't make clothes to fit people in my size. Uh, very often, I should say. I, obviously, I do find clothes that I love and then I end up wearing the crap out of those things until they're completely shredded. But yeah, that's just kind of the, the nature of of being my size and, and, and trying to find clothes that fit. But anyway, how that relates to these pants that I'm talking about today is that uh, because they're compression pants, uh, I bought a size large and they fit me really, really well. I think the only complaint that I would have about the fit on these pants is that the elastic around the waist isn't super tight, which is great, right? Because then it's not like squeezing the crap out of me. Uh, is that when you walk around with these pants on, they tend to start like sagging. So yeah, I, it's kind of a struggle. I'm constantly having to pull them up if I'm walking around in them, which isn't a whole lot, right? If you're wearing riding pants, you're gonna be riding mostly, not walking. So, you know, would it have been nice to have like a drawstring or maybe like a Velcro cinch on the waist of the field, field armor pants by Icon? Yeah, I think so, but uh, they were, I got them for about $150, but for me, instead of paying like $200, $300 on some riding pants that weren't going to fit me great, I decided to go with the compression pants and I stand by that decision. If you're thinking about buying these pants uh, for the same reasons that I bought them, uh, give them a try because uh, I would give my stamp of approval on this particular pair of compression riding pants. Uh, the protection is, is, is pretty good, you know, uh, padding wise, like if you were to take a spill, it's still gonna hurt. And you know, I don't think there's any way of getting around that. But 
the padding seems to be in all of the right places in the knees like i said in the in the hips and in the tailbone you've got some on your rear end as well as on your quads yeah it, they all seem to be in, in in well thought thought out and good places so that's definitely some, something i thought of when i bought these pants was the protection going to be in the right places and were they going to make me feel safer and should i take a spill were they going to actually help and the answer for me I think is yes. So in the past, I actually did uh, not not necessarily review because I never I never bought them or tried them on. But there were these riding. It's basically like long underwear um, called Botex, and I did end up going with those one because they were a lot pricier than the Field Armor pants that I bought, but also because of the material and they just looked like they were going to be too hot. And for a guy like me who does most of my riding when it is hot. Uh, I just thought I needed something that was going to breathe a little better that was still going to provide protection. Another thing about those pants, the Botex pants, I know that you could buy them um, with additional armor in certain places, but then you're just adding to more to the heat, right? The whole problem with those pants in the first place was how hot I thought they were going to be. And yeah, so I do stand by my decision on buying the Icon Field Armor Compression Pants. But guys, that's all I've got for you on these pants. If you have any questions though that I didn't answer during my review, make sure you leave them in the comments. Uh, and also if you have these pants as well and you have um, some criticism or you have something that you want to add, make sure you leave that in the comments as well. It'll be helpful to anyone who's watching this video who have any questions about these pants that I didn't answer. But guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get ready. I'm that one guy, and I am out.